Good afternoon and welcome to our Big Brother Mzanzi Hangout. It is Monday and uh, we are joined today by Khorsi, who was voted out of the house on Sunday evening, unfortunately. Khorsi, welcome to our Hangout. How are you? Thank you, Jace. I'm good. How are you, my friend? I'm cool. So, um, I, I see you already back into the, the swing of things watching the Academy Awards on, yes. on TV. Were you, were you happy with some of the winners that you saw? I was happy with every single one of the winners. I can't wait to... Um, to check out the movies that I've been missing at the big screen, at the big screen, and um, some of them were predictable, like all the production design awards, the awards at Gravity One, and I can't wait to see the Dallas Buyers Club to see what Jared Leto and Matthew McConaughey did. Great, um, presenting by a great hosting by Ellen, and I was thoroughly entertained. Yeah. See, back to the real world, just like that. Big wow. Brother Mzanzi. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about Big Brother Mzanzi. So yeah. I'm going to introduce you to Sibulele and Jocelyn, who are joining us today. Hi, Hi Hello. Hi, Check Jocelyn. how cozy they look there. Eh? <laughs> All happy to see you. Looking good, ladies. Looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to fire away your question? Sure. Um, Hussi, well, you started out as a ch chambermaid. Um, when you moved to the Big Brother house, there was a lot of tension at times. Was there ever a time that you thought, oh, please just take me back to the chamber? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, definitely not. I think I would have rather gone to prison than not stayed, stayed along in that chamber. But not because it was a bad place with bad people, but only because I didn't feel as comfortable. Yeah, I didn't feel that comfortable. Jeez, my head looks weird here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel that comfortable in the chamber. I felt like I was being judged for just being me. Whereas, you know, when I moved into the house, it felt as though everybody in there was quite unique and there was quite a diverse... Yeah, the, the characters in there were, were individuals, you know, um, quite a diverse bunch of people. And, um, yeah, it felt more like home. Whereas in the chamber, it felt as though it was them and me. I don't know if that's what it looked like, but that's that was what was going on. Well, it was them and you, and yeah. you were the chosen one who went into the house. <laughs> so true. it worked for you. It did. It did. So screw them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> um, okay, another question from you guys? Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask, did you have a strategy when you went into the house? And did it I did, and it you? didn't seem to work. My strategy <laughs> was to be myself and... That fell dismally, clearly, because I'm sitting here. But, um, yeah, I, I think I should have had a strategy. I should have prepared myself a little more. I should have um, planned to, I don't know, be a little more um, strategic. I should have planned to play more of a game. I think that would have been more entertaining for the usual Big Brother viewers. I think I was a little too placid, if that's the word I could use. I was a little too, uh, I don't know, maybe I seemed boring because I was quite like, someone called me a pushover earlier. Maybe I didn't entertain all the arguments I should have and stirred up all the stuff I should have. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't as entertaining because I didn't have a strategy, a game plan. And mostly because I thought, you know, like, uh, honesty is the way forward. And in that house, it seemed as though honesty was quite, uh, quite boring. Yeah, mm -hmm. scarce. Yeah. It seemed like nobody was into... So, can I ask then, who do you think's playing the game? Sure. Who's playing it very strategically? <laughs> um, since I've come out, I've had a different view from what, what happened when I was in there. But... Um, I found out that Cat's playing quite a game. Um, Saul's <laughs> playing quite a game. I found out Lexi's playing a game, but I think that's who she is naturally. Um, I think Moloko's playing a game. I think I think most of them are playing. Mzamba's definitely playing a game. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of them might actually just be that way. But I, I think they are a lot. I think like MK is naturally who he is. You know what I mean? But that's interesting enough because it's like, boom! This is 
who I am. Gonna and he's not a bad guy. He's actually quite a nice guy. Um, I think I don't think Bully's playing a game. I don't think Jace is playing a game. I think Jace is there to have fun. I think the girls, the other two girls, Lola and Tando, alternate. I think sometimes they're being themselves, and sometimes they are aware that you know this is being watched. And if I say this to this person, but for the most part, I, I think some of them are being genuine, and some of them are only playing a game. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, another question, Josh? Um, last night, after you were evicted, Jose, yeah. Jason yeah. cried. <laughs> no, I didn't. He cried. <laughs> so I just wanted to know, which other housemates did you really connect with? <laughs> I think him for the most part. I mean, Jason was a guy who would pull me aside and... You know what I really liked about him is that he was so innocent that he couldn't tell a lie. He was there to to be as genuine as he was. I think I made the closest connection with him and Mandla. You know, there was a day actually when Lexi told told me that Mandla had been lying about things, and it really confused me about that because he could have been playing a game. He could be lying to everyone. I don't know. The audience knows. I don't know. I haven't seen. But um, yeah, I think um, for the most part, Mandla and Jace. And um, Lola, that's who I saw made real connections with, and Puli. But um, I was really disappointed in that first week when Puli thought I'd hidden the line as a prank because <laughs> I thought if he could do that, I mean, if he could accuse me of doing that, then he might have done it to me, and that yeah. in itself means I can't trust him. But that was just, you know. Little thing. Thinking too deeply. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, um, yeah, I think I'll hang out with maybe three or four of them outside the house. Okay. In real life. Okay. My hair looks like it. Okay. <laughs> really another question for me. Okay, talking about being genuine and honest, um, how yeah. or genuine were your feelings towards um, Loco? And do you think you could have handled that relationship better? No. I think if I had been, if I'd pursued it any further, I probably would have had my heart broken. If I'd, mm -hmm. yeah, she was who I found to be the most attractive girl at the time in the house. And I thought she was an interesting girl. And, um, yeah, you know, like, I don't know. You guys saw what you saw. Uh, I tried to be as genuine as I could, and she, um, she thought I, I don't know, there was a night, where she cried twice in my presence, and both times I was saying that there aren't really any good men out there, and I don't know if it had been because of her past or what had happened to her before she came into the house, but it surprised me, you know, she accused me of being like, just like every other guy, and, and I could see that she was into Puli, look, in retrospect, I found out that she was actually quite cold and didn't like Puli before I came in the house. And when I came in, she became all girly. But I don't know these things. I thought, what if she's into this guy the whole time? And, like, she's messing with me, you know, because you girls can be cold <laughs> as ice sometimes, you know? Like, what, uh... Sorry, Jess. What, um... Cat is doing to Jace. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> Cause of cold. But yeah, no, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad I did everything I did because, yeah, some people just don't care at all. Don't regard other people's emotions because this game is all that's real. So, and I don't want to be caught up in no drama with no love triangle. I'm. <sighs> Not ready for that. I don't need that kind of drama in my life. It's not days of my life. Speak no, about them exactly. Dirty. Which is kind there of the same. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you look at it, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, two quick last questions from you guys. Um, Jose, my heart broke last week when you guys lost the task, lost the wager of the task, especially because you put in all those hours writing the script. Is this something that you're going to pursue now? Um, in terms of... Plays. I haven't written a play since I was 17, which is what, 
eight years ago. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I do for a living. I, uh, I I write stories, so I have to if I want to feed my kids. I don't have any kids, by the way. But <laughs> yes, yes, the slave. But yes, that is that is definitely the plan for the future. Um, cool. That's what I do. It's it's what uh, I'd say is the only thing I'm pretty much good at. So. I'm sure you, there's other skills that you could add as well. Mm -hmm. Well, the best at it. So I knew I can feed my kids. <laughs> Which you don't have yet. Which I don't have. Okay, yeah. Sivilele, so one more question for you. Okay, Jose, um, what would you say is the best memory for you from the house? Okay, the three. The one was uh, definitely that paradise. <laughs> that paradise Ooh. was amazing. That was nice, yeah. <laughs> That was like heaven. That was like, oh my goodness, this is actually in the house. This is been so. I thought there might be more surprises, you know, in the house that had just been. And then it was the statue moment where that uh, that, <laughs> and, uh, that from pipe band came in, and then it was obviously even the chamber to get into the house. But um, yeah. Otherwise, it was just a great experience. You know, you gotta take things with a pinch of salt and remember sometimes that um, people are only forced to do what they do because of the situations that they're in, you know? And you got to forgive because of that. Awesome. Well, you don't hold any grudges. No, no you. grudges. You're all good and uh, ready to hit the real world again. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so speaking of the real world, how do people keep in track or keep in touch with you on the social networks? Are you there? Oh goodness, that's a good question because I don't I don't know how to do this thing. I okay, so we to... need to teach him how to tweet, and we need to yes, teach him how to. Yes. So I got Facebook, <laughs> but like I don't I don't. The only people I've accepted are people who I've met in real life and had a conversation with. That's my number one rule about accepting. So you can other. add the three of us. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, yeah, for you sure. You can add the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just I can't accept you unless I've met you. In, yeah, I've met you. I've met you too. And this guy. <laughs> and Twitter. So what are we going to do I've about only, Twitter? I've only tweeted in my life 13 times. And 13? that was in wow. like two days. <laughs> and that was in 2010 when I got Twitter. Because uh, I just thought time. it was a little like self-indulgent because maybe it's because of like all the tweets I'd seen. Like, uh, oh my God, look at this lunch. It's like <laughs> super healthy. <laughs> Okay, so that's okay. So we'll rule that out then. Yeah. So we need I'll to. I'll try. I'll try. You I can, can try. try. So what is your handle then? It's at Corsi one one three. Okay. But I've literally oh. only tweeted thirteen times. Pretty much, yeah. One one three. So you know, we we're making progress, yeah. But if people want to bump into you in in around South Africa, where where can they most likely see you? I'm most likely to disappear for a little while. This. <laughs> Okay, just like that. <laughs> just into the yeah. <laughs> um, I I don't know. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like how to just talk to. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So we'll so just bump you into you wanna... if and where we see you then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. <laughs> thank you. Well Jess. done. Thanks for entertaining us. We'll catch you soon. <laughs> see, this is what Trevor Gumby does. He hugs. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, ladies. And don't you forget. You too, Jose. Everything at the best. Thank you, you too. And excuse the hair. It's because they tried something, and then I tried <laughs> something, and then it just didn't work. I wish it was just as scruffy as it was the first time, but now it looks like it's a neat scruffy because they tried to comb it. You all saw the story. We gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you. We'll catch you back next <laughs> Thank week. You. Next Bye. Week. Bye, ladies. Thank you.